Hey there guys, it's PCGuy here with a quick fix for Asus Aura. I'm sure you guys have, you know, if you're watching this video, you're probably you were having issues where Aura was not working, just refusing to open with a, a stopped working message and nothing was happening. I've tried updating it, updating the BIOS, all that sort of stuff that people suggest, uh, reinstalling it, nothing really helped and it was not really doing anything, but I have found uh, the culprit in this case and it might actually help in your case. The first thing you want to do is head up to your application list that you have installed. You want to uninstall Aura that you see here. You probably tried that already and you probably were not successful just like I wasn't. And what you want to do is also uninstall Aura service, obviously, as well as a couple of other included programs that do not uninstall immediately in Aura does. That would be Galax Gamer RGB and one that I found lower down the line, Patriot Viper RGB here as you can see. So you want to get rid of these three programs and then restart your computer to completely get rid of them. Now up until here you probably already had tried this with or without success because every case is its own case and this is what really made it work for me. In your program files x86 there is a folder called lighting service. Even when you uninstall Aura this folder stays behind with your save profile. When you reinstall it it just loads the profile again. So if this profile was corrupted by some reason was causing it to crash that is what will be causing your problem. So you want to delete this folder right here lighting service before reinstalling Aura. Once this is done you can reinstall Aura. Uh, it will do its own uh, download and install thing and it should be fine. If you're not sure where to get the installer, just head to the ASUS uh, page, search for your motherboard and support. You should land on a page similar to this, drivers and tools, choose your operating system, scroll down the list to the utilities part until you see Aura. It should show as either Aura or Lighting Control. It's both pretty much the same, except for some reason they sometimes name it as one, sometimes name it as the other. But this is what you're looking for, either Aura or Lighting Control. Download it, unzip it, press setup and you should be good to go. Restart the computer after that and by the time you are done, you should be able to just click the item and it will be working as it always has. One thing I feel I should mention that was not helping in my case but I saw while researching how to fix this that helped some people was in the power settings to turn off the fast startup. So you just click here on that button to enable it, turn this off, save changes and apply. Like I said it did not help in my case and I turned it back on and it's not really harming it either but in some cases those people were being able to solve their problem by turning this off. Also if you have other sorts of lighting control programs if you have multiple softwares like for example G-Skill Ham if you have a dedicated program for that it might also be conflicting with Aura so uninstall those programs and try reinstalling them and maybe that will help. Other things you can also try is just opening up your PC and unplugging and plugging back in the RGB controls and making sure that all your hardware is Aura compatible. In my case I am running Thermaltake control with Thermaltake fans which are Aura compatible and G-Sync Ham which is also uh, syncable with um, Aura Sync. So that was not the issue but if they are incompatible then you could possibly have a problem. Hopefully that helped you solve your issue. Aura is a difficult program to work with. Even if you have nothing really conflicting with it, it just sometimes spontaneously stops working. Sometimes it works fine for months or weeks and then it just uh, has a seizure like this. And uh, yeah, so if you are complicating it, complicating it with other light control programs, it becomes even worse or can become even worse. In any case, hope this has helped you solve your issue. It certainly did for me and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.